Noted agricultural economist M.S. Swaminathan has also been recognized as Bharat Ratna for his contribution to making agriculture self-reliant. His daughter, Dr. Soumya Swaminathan, is joining us live. Dr. Swaminathan, uh, appreciate your time and congratulations. What has been the initial reaction of the family? Thank you so much. Um, and uh, naturally, we are very happy. Uh, we are delighted. And uh, we feel honored that he has been honored with the highest civilian award of, that the country gives to its really most eminent citizens. And, um, and I think it's a fitting tribute and a reward for somebody who spent his whole life actually working for the country. So yes, it's, it's really a, a, a very happy and a wonderful day and a feeling today. Could it have come earlier? Is it uh, coming too late? Well, as you know, my father passed away just a few months ago, and I'm sure that he would have been really, truly very, very happy um, if he had ha had the news during his lifetime. But it is what it is. It is a recognition of the work that he has done. And I think more than anything else, it's, uh, it sends a very strong signal that the country, um, you know, respects and rewards it's uh, scientists, especially agricultural scientists, who are often not in the limelight, um, but are so important, uh, were in the past and will be in the future. So we're just delighted that, you know, that his work has been recognized. Ma'am, one view certainly is uh, that he comes from southern India. Uh, uh, today also is the day that... Uh, uh, former Prime Minister P.V. Narasimha Rao has been given Bharat Ratna. Uh, would you say that this is uh, the government's uh, way of saying that people from all across India and their contribution are valued? Well, I think that is true. When you look at the um, Padma Awards, uh, generally they do come from all over India. So I don't think that's uh, anything very new. Um, and usually at this level of award, at the Bharat Ratna level, it is really only given to people who have, you know, made a national mark and who are recognized for their public service to the country. And, um, and yes, they come from, from all over India. Uh, my father never considered himself actually to be, you know, uh, particularly in, belong to any one state or, or community. I think he really was an Indian. He belonged to the Gandhian era. He grew up, you know, during the freedom struggle. And for him, the country was above everything else. Yes, that certainly is a beautiful thought. Uh, but uh, Swami Swaminathan, also, it, this is coming at a very interesting time um, in the journey of India, where uh, there is a very sharp north-south narrative. How do you see that? Well, I, I you know, frankly speaking, I'm not even thinking about those things. Um, I, you know, don't want to comment on the politics here because I think it's a tribute to an individual. It's a tribute to my father. Uh, and, you know, we have seen from childhood the commitment, the hard work, the perseverance and uh, the ability to bring people together that he had an amazing ability, whether it was farmers in any part of the country or whether it was politicians or whether it was, you know, heads of state and Nobel laureates, he was equally at home in all of these settings. And I think it was that special gift he had that uh, was the reason for why he was successful, not just improving uh, food productivity during the Green Revolution years, but also later in institution building. He has built so many scientific institutions, not just in India, but around the world. And I think that's what lasts, you know, beyond one's lifetime. You build institutions, you build people, you leave something behind for the future. Absolutely. His legacy is far and wide. My last question to you, uh, during his lifetime, did he at any stage, uh, you know, talk about recognitions and, and awards uh, with the family that, you know, did he have any expectations? He did not. I can say very frankly that he did not have expectations and he wore his awards and recognitions very lightly, as you know, he had almost 100 honorary doctorates from universities around the world. 
He had won uh, many awards very young, when he was very young and early in his career, and the Padma Vibhushan in, um, in 1989. So he accepted them with grace and humility, but he never hankered for awards. But when he was recognized, of course, he was happy. But then the next day, he went on uh, to look at a new challenge and to continue with the passion that he had for his work. And uh, if this award would have come in his lifetime, what do you think his reaction would have been? The same as other awards, I think he would have taken it with equanimity. He was a very, very proud Indian. And so I know that the Bharat Ratna would have meant a lot to him, as it means to all of us. All right. Uh, congratulations, ma'am. And thank you so much for speaking to NDTV. Thank you.